Sauri Krap. It's Juan Palihat, Yisipet Mina Hom. I'm JP Mestanza, and this is Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now, here's the news you need to know. A tragedy on Kata Hill last night has claimed the life of a 26-year-old Thai woman as she died after being crushed by a water truck. The accident took place at about 7 p.m. last night on Kata Hill, with witnesses telling police that three people on two motorbikes, they fell when they slipped on oil as they drove down the hill. And one of the women, 26-year-old Naticha Atachiwa, she fell under a water truck and her head was crushed at the scene and she died instantly. The other two victims were fortunately not hit by passing vehicles and they were rushed to a local hospital for treatment. Witnesses told police that the driver of the water truck parked up about 100 meters away from where the accident happened, walking over to check on the victims. But he noticed that the bystanders were recording video and he allegedly went back to the truck and drove away. Police are now checking CCTV footage for what happened. An armed robbery suspect is not only going to jail for that crime, but as police tracked him down, he was allegedly preparing liquid kratom extract at his home in Chalong, a double whammy. It took a few days, but police were finally able to identify 25-year-old Ratapot Pases, obtaining an arrest warrant in connection with three robberies at two separate pharmacies in Chalong. Ratapol is accused of robbing the Damason Pharmacy in Chalong on both March 8th and again on March 18th, walking in and snatching the cash from the counter the first time, and the second time he threatened the cashier with a long knife before making off with about 30,000 baht. He also fit the description of a suspect who robbed the Camp Pharma Pharmacy also in Chalong on March 13th, threatening the cashier with an axe and allegedly stealing 15,000 baht. Police were able to track down Ratapol at an address in Chalong on March 19th and during the raid, they allegedly caught him in the process of making liquid kratom extract along with clothes worn by the suspect in the three robberies in the same motorbike. He's now being charged with armed robbery and illegal possession of narcotics. Police are revealing details of what might have happened before a 53-year-old man shot two people at a beauty spa south of Phuket town before turning the gun on himself, saying he, quote, snapped after repeated rebukes by one of his victims at the spa where he worked. On Tuesday morning, 53-year-old Chana Roquet shot a 73-year-old South Korean national, the father of the owner of the spa, along with a 55-year-old female Thai staffer, both of whom are still recovering at Vashira Phuket Hospital. And later in the day, police tracked him down at Sapan Hin Public Park, where he turned the gun on himself before police were able to arrest him. He died at the scene. Police say that Chana was known to have a hot temper and he had, quote, been stressed for days from being picked on by the 73-year-old man who he eventually shot, finding it difficult to communicate with someone in a different language. Chana was also found to have had an outstanding arrest warrant for conspiracy to murder in his home province of Songkla back in 2003. Phuket Extra will be right back after these words. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Police are setting up a special joint task force to look into who exactly shot dead, a former cop in broad daylight who had been working with volunteer lawyers to bring justice against corrupt police officers. 48-year-old police captain Wacharin Beja Totsawat, a former deputy superintendent of investigations at Songkla Police. He was shot three times at point-blank range right in front of his own house on Tuesday afternoon. And reports say that CCTV footage shows that four people were possibly involved in that killing. A joint task force of members from Songkla Provincial Police, local cops and others, they're investigating to see who killed the cop who had been helping victims who were believed to have been treated unfairly by police. Again, cops are investigating the shooting of another ex-cop who was going after corrupt cops. 
PTT Oil and Retail is signing an agreement with the Justice Ministry that would not only make products made by prisoners to be sold at PTT stations and coffee shops, but also help provide them with vocational training once they get out. The agreement was signed today at PTT OR's headquarters in Bangkok and will be for one year with an option to extend beginning next month and includes an initial study to look into the possibility of selling products made by inmates, including those on probation and juveniles, at about 1,600 PTT stations and about 2,400 Amazon coffee shops. In addition, the project allows recently released inmates and those on probation to serve apprenticeships with PTT Oil and Retail with training at a prototype station and coffee shop within the Justice Ministry compound, giving them a higher chance at obtaining a job so they wouldn't have to return to crime, which studies show is the main factor in prison recidivism. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. And if you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, Friday, stay classy, Phuket. Mm -hmm.